Hey guys, so today we're talking about the disappearance of Kate Middleton, the future queen. It's obviously very dramatic, but I hope it's not actually that serious. Like, I hope it's not anything too bad. Uh, but subscribe to the bell icon for engagement. Um, and I just wanted to talk to you guys about the disappearance of Kate Middleton, because we have not truly seen her since December. And that is a long time for our future queen to be missing in action. So I just wanted to talk about everything, talk about the timeline with you guys very casually and just see, you know, gauge how we're all feeling about this. Um, because I'm usually not the kind of person, even though I live in the UK, I'm just not a massive royals. I'm neither a fan nor an enemy. I just don't really care. Okay. I think it's cool kind of, but also at the same time, the amount of obs the obscene amounts of money they spend on like gold carriages, give me a break. You know, like we are literally in a recession. So maybe let's stop doing that. So there is definitely that two sides to me where I'm like, they bring a lot of money in, but maybe don't spend money on gold carriages. I don't know. That's just my opinion. But this story has taken the internet by storm. If you guys remember, I did a Willy's chocolate factory adventure video about the Glasgow Willy Wonka experience. And people are already making jokes about Kate Middleton then that she was at the Willy Wonka experience and that's why she's missing in action. So this all kind of links together, right? But let's go back. I actually used page six for this because page six has this thing where yes, they repeat themselves a lot just to bulk out the content, but it's very easy to go through page six and get a good timeline of how things were happening because they do update pretty daily. So it's easier to kind of see how things were playing out and see the dates and kind of, you know, get a good my eyes itchy get a good timeline going okay so page six king charles iii to undergo surgery for enlarged prostate amid kate middleton's hospitalization this was around january and then we have kate middleton's rep brushes off speculation about recovery as theories regarding her whereabouts swell and this is now end of feb so from january to about feb people start being like okay it's been a while where is she? And Kate Middleton's representative is like, you guys have nothing to worry about. So Kate Middleton's team is speaking out in light of the conspiracy theory swirling about the Princess of Wales whereabouts following her abdominal surgery in January. Kensington Palace made it clear in January the timelines of the princess's recovery and would only be providing significant updates. There is nothing significant going on. We're not gonna say anything. Uh, and they told page six exclusively. This is why I like page six. They get a lot of like exclusive sources that guidance stands if nothing is happening you're not hearing about it is basically what they said the flag reiterates that middleton 42 is doing well while middleton continues to recover prince william has resumed his public duties but sparked concern once again when he bailed on a royal engagement tuesday for undisclosed personal reasons the palace however reiterated at the time that the princess was doing well and the prince of wales 41 emerged once again thursday at a london synagogue where he participated in an anti-semitism event so both catherine and i are extremely concerned about the rise of anti-semitism he shared with the group but despite him saying that me and catherine catherine and i are concerned Catherine is nowhere to be seen in that concern okay now we're concerned for her uh, milton has not been seen since christmas day Okay, so it's been a minute and speculation has reached a fever pitch as internet sleuths theories range from plastic surgery to being in a coma. I don't know why should we need plastic surgery, so maybe I don't want to also put coma into the existence. I don't want to put that into the abyss and be like, oh, maybe it's a coma because that's just like bad luck. I'm just putting bad luck out there. So at the time of her surgery, Kensington Palace confirmed that the mum of three would remain hospitalised for up to two weeks and wouldn't resume public duties until around Easter. And we're coming up to Easter now. But a source told us that Middleton's closest advisors didn't even know she had planned to go under the knife, so she seems to have not told people. Now, shockingly, King Charles III announced at the same time of Middleton's surgery that he would be undergoing a routine procedure on his prostate. Although the surgery itself went well, Buckingham Palace later announced that the monarch, 75, had been diagnosed with cancer. Boo for cancer, okay? hate cancer. If cancer has zero haters, I am dead. Um, hopefully not from cancer, but 50% of the population apparently will get cancer. So there is a 50-50 chance that it's either me or you, and I hope it's neither of us, but statistics are bad on this, okay? I would like to express my most heartfelt thanks for the many messages of support and good wishes I've received in recent days. Charles later shared in a statement. Although he initially postponed some events to receive treatment, the king resumed his duties last week. So you're telling me he had surgery on his prostate and he's 75, but he's just resuming his duties. Now, Kate Middleton is also getting a surgery and she's been incognito since end of December. We are now mid-March. Things are looking not great, dare I say. Okay, not great. We have another one, newyorkpost.com. Kate Middleton spotted for the first time after surgery and wild conspiracy theories in new photos. So this is the photo that got leaked or was released. I mean, people are like, is that even her? 
is that even her? Does it look like her? Kind of. Could it be a family member? For sure. So she was spotted Monday for the first time since December as she continues to rest in private following her planned abdominal surgery earlier this year. So these are pictures of by the post and she is sat in the passenger seat of an Audi being driven by her mum, Carol, near Windsor Castle. Okay, great. Amazing. Why do I say castle? Castle. It's like my accent's just going everywhere and nowhere at the same time. So she attempted to keep a low profile in a pair of sunglasses and a slight smile. Is the slight smile an attempt to keep a low profile? I don't know why they wrote it like that. That's so weird. And the Post has contacted Kensington Palace for comment. Apparently seems to have gotten no comment. Um, I wonder why. So the sighting comes as wild conspiracy theories about Middleton's whereabouts have taken over the internet. But they made it clear in January that Middleton would remain behind closed doors until after Easter and that they'd only be providing significant updates. Okay, so they're all sticking with a story about significant updates. I think the future queen being missing is a significant update. Um, and the thing is, I, find, I, I feel like the royal family doesn't love conspiracy theories about the family. Okay, so I just feel like at the beginning they were saying, you know, we won't give any significant updates unless it's necessary. I think it's kind of necessary right now um, because the theories are not looking great. They're not making the royal family look good. The whole thing is just fishy. I'm gonna keep on going because it gets worse and worse and worse. And I feel like at this point they need to speak out. This is a significant update, speak out. And then we have New York Post again. Kate Middleton's name quietly removed from the website that hinted at her return to royal duty post-surgery. Uh, so the British Army's website quietly removed Kate Middleton's name from the list of attendees for the Colonel's Review Tuesday after it was speculated that the event would be one of her first appearances since her abdominal surgery. Okay, so she's clearly not going back to work. Now tell us the update. That's what I want to know. On Tuesday, her office at Kensington Palace said that they hadn't been consulted about her appearance per people. So it's getting worse. It's just getting worse and worse. Page six. This is now March 7th. So we've entered March now. Kate Middleton's uncle, who was on Big Brother, offers cryptic response as he's confronted about Princess's whereabouts. He has since... What is this lighting? What is going on? He has been kicked out of Big Brother. But Ekin Su is actually the one that asked him, Gary, out of the blue during Wednesday's episode, where's Kate? And he said, uh, so because she doesn't want to talk about it, the last thing I'm going to do is, and he's just stammering through it. Okay, it's awkward, it's crazy. And she picked up on his hesitation and interrupted him to ask, we can't talk about it. And he cited a code of etiquette. If it's announced, I'll give you an opinion. The Love Island alumni, so Ekin Su, I don't know why they like to write it like this. I've had this issue with page six for a while. They love to do this stuff. Just say the names, don't make it confusing. She appeared concerned as she replied, I hope she's okay, to which he shared that Carol assured him that Kate is getting the best care in the world while recovering from her operation. We can only hope. So then in between the last article I just read you guys and the ones I'm gonna read now, we have a tweet and an Instagram story that literally lit the world on flames. Is that the saying? Lit the world on fire. I don't know why I tried to once it up and it just sounded dumb. Okay, this is the picture. Now, if you guys look at this picture, it just looks like them having fun. And this was supposed to be posted for Mother's Day. So we have, thank you for your kind wishes and continued support over the last two months. Wishing everyone a happy Mother's Day. C, just signed C. So that's Catherine speaking to us, apparently. The Prince of Wales 2024. So William took this picture and Catherine allegedly posted it and wrote this little message. <laughs> look at this picture for a minute, okay? People have started going over what the issues are for, with this picture. She also posted it on Instagram stories. So this is apparently photoshopped and people actually looked into the metadata of this picture. It has been photoshopped. At least it wasn't Facetune. That would have made it a lot worse. This is Adam Parker saying this. The image has been saved in photo editing software Adobe Photoshop two times on an Apple Mac, the first at 9.54 p.m. on Friday night, the second save was at 9.39 a.m. on Saturday morning. So someone went in on Friday and then went in on Saturday morning and decided that it needed a bit more umphing up, okay? The lens used is a Canon 50mm f1.2 lens. The metadata also reveals a model serial number. Using the Canon website, we worked out the camera is a Canon 5D Mark IV. Is that actually the one I have? I don't know. I remember... I remember this name. Maybe it's the one I have. Who knows? We geolocated the photo, not using the metadata, to Adelaide Cottage in Windsor. The date is unknown. We might sound insane right now. Yes. Yes. Now, Lily Marston, right? <laughs> the Queen has gone in and uh, basically quote tweeted that and she went in with all the little details that make it look photoshopped because it is. Knew it. It was an AI photo app combining pictures. No, 
wasn't. It was Photoshop. I agree. And everyone's saying how they just combine shots because kids are impossible to photograph. If that was the case, why are none of the edits around their faces that needed to be swapped out? Like the edits are all surrounding where the kids make contact with her. Both of her hands, her hair, her neckline. I should mention, I don't even have a theory or motive in mind, lol. I just know that for whatever reason, this was photoshopped and it's weird as f So she posts on her Instagram stories, this tweet by Ruby. My analysis of the Kate Middleton photo saga is that they took her face from the Vogue cover she did years ago and edited it in. And I mean, it looks shockingly similar. My camera battery is dying. The face you're seeing right now, <laughs> me and my camera and my filming software and myself have beef right now, okay? Uh, because my battery died and guess who forgot to start recording again after I put the new battery in? This bitch. I don't even know where I ended. That's the annoying part. I don't know where I stopped talking. I hate when this happens as well because I'm one of those people where I just, I hate having to fake like I'm doing this like first reaction to things because it's obviously not because I just talked about it. I hate cameras. I hate filming. Guys, this is the first time I'm saying this, okay? Um, the Prince and Princess of Wales after this picture dropped. <laughs> Picture drop said, like many amateur photographers, I do occasionally experiment with editing. I wanted to express my apologies for the confusion the family photograph we shared yesterday caused. I have everyone celebrating had a very happy Mother's Day. See, you're telling me she wrote this and blamed it all on herself? You're telling me also that Kate sits at home and uses Adobe Photoshop like any amateur photographer? Graphic design is my passion, is what Kate Middleton just said, and I don't believe a single word of it. So then we have AP, one of these photo agencies they put out a kill notification for this photo so the uk royals princess picture it says the reason for killing the story at closer inspection it appears that the source has manipulated the image no replacement photo will be sent please remove it from all platforms including social where it may still be visible okay so that's a big big juicy deal and chris ship tweeted out saying no comment from kensington palace tonight after at least three international picture agencies refused to distribute this morning's photo of kate and her children some of them at ap have claimed the source um the palace has manipulated the photo and now this from a AFP, uh, mandatory kill due to an editorial issue. This photo um, has been withdrawn from AFP systems and may no longer be used in any manner. Please immediately remove it from all your online services. Stop using it. Big, massive deal. Massive, massive, massive deal. Now I forgot if I mentioned this stuff. Oh, I'm so angry. There's this TikTok basically talking through all the different things that are wrong with these photos and how it looks like it's been spliced from a charity event that she did with the kids. I've looked even further into this photo and check this out. You may have heard this theory that Kate's face in this photo is actually a direct ripoff off of a Vogue magazine cover from 2016. 2016 was eight years ago. And if you were to look at a picture of your face eight years ago, it's likely different. Eight years. Let alone she was able to take a photo where all of her facial features are almost in the exact same same position. Anyway, so you don't like that one, fine. Let's look at some more. In this photo, we've got them in these four outfits. Huh, interesting. Because on a recent trip to a donation center, these four all had on the exact same outfit layout. Again, just a theory for you to think about. Okay, follow me here. Forget color and pattern, because to manipulate those is pretty base level editing skills. It's something that a lot of us can learn in under three hours. So, on this trip to this donation bank, we have Kate wearing this white cashmere sweater, blue skinny jeans, and these boots. In this photo, we've got Kate wearing a dark blue cashmere sweater, skinny jeans, and those exact same boots. Here we've got Charlotte in a long red sleeve shirt, wearing a skirt with black leggings underneath, and these boots. Now in this photo, we've got the red long sleeve shirt, a skirt, black leggings, and the same boots. Next, let's look at George. He's wearing a sweater with a plaid shirt underneath with a collar popping out, and these runners. In this photo, we've got George wearing a blue sweater with a plaid shirt underneath, and these runners. Lastly, we've got Louis. We've got him in a wool sweater with a pattern on it and a plaid collar as well. And in this photo, we've got Louis with a wool sweater with a pattern and a plaid collar. Take that for what it is, because I get it. The shirts aren't the exact same. Same. But if you zoom out, these are the exact same outfits, just a different color, which is very easy to do on Photoshop, or a different pattern. For an example, here I am today wearing this sweater right now. Pop this in Photoshop, and boom. Guys, it's not hard to do that. It's hard to deny this one. To wear the exact same outfits down to the shoes. We're talking about a royal family here that have stylists, they have teams, they've got everything. But they're wearing the same outfits. Okay, anyway, these aren't facts, these are theories. On the opposite side of things, this photo was taken hours after Kate issued this apology. And of course, it's not a photo of her face. But if you find another photo 
from the same angle, you could see that Kate's cheek has this little raised portion here, likely making this Kate. Look, guys, the whole thing is weird. Why are they being weird about it? And, and are we playing into what they want? Look, all in all, there's nothing wrong with somebody photoshopping a picture of themselves. People do it all the time that are in the public eye. So what? I'm with you on that. This isn't directly about the royal family posting this photoshopped image. It's about the royal family playing in the waters of AI. But I'm genuinely shocked at how many people believe this image is an image that was directly taken from an iPhone and it was Kate curled up on the couch just doing a little edit. It is so far from that. This is the royal family. This establishment has so many levels to it. And what that tells me and what it tells them is if in the future they release another photo, maybe something different, maybe altering an event that can skew your perspective because you take that as gospel. That's where I stand with this. I want to get back to my vintage photo series of Shot and Forgot. Tomorrow I will be back and we're going to start a brand new family search. Thanks so much for watching, guys. The Shameless podcast talked about why the royal family needs to speak out now because it looks very bad and the fact that they're not speaking out looks worse. I know I sound like I have a tinfoil hat on, <laughs> but genuinely at this point, it is so easy for the royals to dispel these rumors that Kate Middleton is not okay. It is so easy. Mm. They just get a photo of her, which is current in situ being a royal. Mm. I understand she's recovering from abdominal surgery, but given the speculation is this high, it is an incredibly easy thing to put to bed if she is fine and everything's all rosy in the castle. Yeah. They can't do that. And the fact they can't do it and won't do it says to me, for the first time since this fucking crazy story broke in January, for the first time, I believe something is truly up. Something weird is going on, and it annoys me that they're playing us for fools. Despite me being yes. kind of a fool and not really realizing that <laughs> to begin with. I mean, I am a fool, but don't make me feel like Exactly, a fool. and as a collective, we are not fools. <laughs> me individually, maybe. So I hope I covered everything that I've already said. I'm so angry. How stupid do you have to be? I'm not gonna offend myself like that. How silly. Do you have to be to just not hit record? That is like literally my whole job. Just hit record and speak. Then I went on Twitter because that's where all good things happen. I'm joking. Nothing good ever happens on Twitter except for this. So we have Daily Star tweeting out Kate Middleton dubbed chaos bringer of humiliation and mockery as shining star fades. I mean, that is aggressive. She's just been through surgery, excuse me. So then someone quote tweets it and says, UK media soft launch his mistress and then two days later just tossed Kate under the bus. Is she even alive at this point? What is happening? Now, if this isn't ringing some bells for you guys, some very um, nearby bells and very aggressive bells, okay? What happened to William's mother, Diana? Because she was cheated on, the mistress was soft launch, and then sad things happened. Extremely sad things happened. And if this is happening again, William, it's on site. That's what I think anyway. Uh, I am not threatening. <laughs> The, the next king. That is not what I should be doing in my silly YouTube videos. I'm not threatening anyone. Absolutely not. Mainly the king of the country. That's not what I'm doing. So this is the picture of the mistress, okay? Someone said, I too would do a gone girl if my bald ass husband, we did not have to talk about his hairline. We didn't. I mean, cheated on me with someone who looks exactly like me, but horsier. I don't know if that means she looks like a horse girl because then I'm offended, um, or is that she just looks like a horse. Let's hope for the latter. Someone said, imagine being raised to infiltrate the monarchy, successfully stanking the prince, popping out the kids, doing everything right, being one step away from becoming queen, only to have some hills have eyes version of yourself take the spot last minute. Breathtaking. If you guys don't know about hills have eyes, it is a movie about murderous children of incest. Okay, so um, take from that what you will about what people think about this mistress. I mean, Kate is stunning, okay? That is not to be denied. Someone said the streets are saying Kate had a nervous breakdown during Christmas because she found out Will's mistress, Rose Hanbury, is pregnant with his child and she's keeping it. Kate is now refusing to cooperate, as would I. The gossip is sucking me and I don't even care about these people. I mean, same. Someone said, I really don't understand how you can grow up seeing your dad cheated on your mom and her literally dying for it and still cheat on your wife knowing it will f your kids the same way. Like I said, I'm not saying that though. I'm not because he is the future king of this country. So I'm not gonna say that while I still live here. Then we have, just to end things off in a nice pleasant tone, we have my favorite Kate Middleton tweets so I don't have to bookmark everything, an ongoing thread. And if you guys wanna follow this thread, you know where to find it. Female internet investigators uncovering that the Kate Middleton picture was actually taken in late 2023 based on the match ribbing on Kate Middleton's sweater, which is only sold in two colors, white and cream, and therefore Kate's black sweater was photoshopped. And it's the scene from 
uh, Legally Blonde, obviously iconic. If I was a princess and I had to do my own photoshops, I'd be fuming. Like they're spending how much on Andrew's lawyers and I'm hunched over an overheating laptop, blurring layers on Adobe Photoshop, are you kidding me? And we know how much MacBooks huff and puff when you ask them to do basic things. Will truly is Charles's son. Um, so Kate goes missing, AI doctored image drops, now his side pieces getting a PR run. There are signs. There truly are signs. Occasionally the French are funny. I got about eight seconds into explaining the Kate Middleton situation to my French husband before he told me in the Frenchest voice imaginable. Ah, yes. That's why we decided not to have those sorts of people anymore. Mm -hmm. I agree. Uh, when men ask what I can bring to the table, I'm saying chaos bring of humiliation and mockery. How dare they? Poor Kate, she's done everything by the book. She pops out a baby, same day, she's on those front steps of the hospital, parading the baby around as she should, okay? Maybe Megan was in the right for escaping because she did not want to do things by the book. The writers of The Crown after reading all the Kate Middleton drama, I mean, they're in for a season, aren't they? Me lying to my family about my depression. Kate Middleton is reportedly smiling, upbeat, and has left the house a few times. I mean, me too, sister, me too. Can't express how much they shat the bed by pretending Kate is secretly into photo editing software. Fatal, insane, nothing less believable than a royal having a computer hobby. It's 95% of monarchy's appeal. You know these freaks have never learned a password in their lives. Exactly, and apparently William can't use a keyboard. <laughs> William can't use a keyboard, but Kate is an amateur photographer who has Adobe Photoshop on her MacBook Pro. That's what you want us to believe. <laughs> That's truly what you want me to believe. <sighs> Shambles. We love a woman in STEM. Kate Middleton disappeared to get a degree in graphic design and she was excited to show us what she's been learning. She needs to go back to doing the course. Are we seriously supposed to believe that Kate Middleton has Adobe Creator Cloud subscription? Does she, does she, does she have a Creator Cloud subscription? She doesn't. She doesn't. Because I barely want one and I have one and I am paying my debts to Adobe. Big Liz died and the whole institution crumbled. Oh my God, that lady was really holding it all together literally this is what we were all crying about even people that hated the royal family okay we all knew that elizabeth was the last like link it's all crumbling now ireland has the opportunity to fill fulfill the prophecy i literally can't speak anymore okay all i'm saying is if i'm a nearby country previously occupied by the british the queen is dead the monarchy is tanking public trust via photoshop the spare is in california making podcasts and the real government blew through three prime ministers in a year plus brexit i'm invading and tr truly, I am invading. Like that is a telltale sign of a country crumbling. And we're in a recession. Give us a break at this point, actually. Killian Murphy, if you guys don't know, an Irish king. Uh, not actually, people are actually gonna think that he's part of the royal family, okay? Um, some American is gonna say, I didn't think the Irish had a royal family. <laughs> he is an Irish king, okay? Winning the Oscar as the royal family rapidly declines in numbers, territory, relevance, public favor, hair. This is the Irish Revenge. My granny promised that I would see in my lifetime. I was seeing it, okay? Anglo-French War of 2024, let's go. The Princess of Wales is missing and the spare prince is in exile and the king is treating his cancer with herbs. <laughs> if this were the 1300s, France would be looking to invade. Maybe they have something planned. They're gonna drop their own like graphic design little pamphlets. <laughs> and this is what Mario would say. A princess is missing and you expect me to work? <laughs> RIP to the Royal Social Media Manager, whoever they were. Did a little Photoshop job on Fiverr over the weekend and just got an email saying I'm going to be beheaded. <laughs> Any lawyers on here? Uh, the Queen kept that bullshit together for 75 years and it's crumbling in two. I know she's in hell pissed. She did all of that for what? For some Adobe Photoshop to f things up, yep. This is something you'd find on Tumblr um, and I mean that sincerely. I have photoshopped the picture you were hoping would prove I was alive. It's deep, it's very deep. I'm sorry, I'm supposed to believe that the Princess of Wales is editing her own family photos to send to global news outlets. Is the royal family okay? I get that we're all in a recession, but their budget seems to be okay in every other department. And you're saying Kate is hunched over a MacBook, huffing and puffing with the MacBook. Imagine they bring Kate out to prove she's fine, but then they cut into her and it turns out she's actually Kate Middleton instead. Will the horrors never cease? Maybe the real Kate Middleton is the friends we made along the way. These are all just like jokes that you can't even begin to explain to an alien if an alien invasion happened right now. And with the way things are going, I fear uh, an alien invasion is what we need right now. Why are Americans so obsessed with this Kate thing? Excuse me, this is literally our culture. Americans have three things, okay? One, so does large enough to drown small children. Two, stories about missing white women. And three, mocking the British. 
I mean, we've got a two for three. And have you considered that Kate Middleton is in Barbie Land helping her doll through an existential crisis? Rose is what you get when you order Kate from Timu. I've been telling you guys about Timu and you don't believe me. I know exactly where Kate Middleton is. She's falling in love with a small town bakery owner who has no idea she's a princess and he's gonna help her rediscover the meaning of Christmas coming to Netflix next fall. Our new social media intern, Kate, did a great job capturing Killian Murphy's return to Dublin airport this morning after his Oscar success. It's always the Irish. Anyway, that's Kate Middleton. I don't know where she is. If you wanted me to like, bring her out with me, you know, to film this video. She's not here. I don't know where she is. And I want a safe return for Kate. Subscribe at the well.com for engagement. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.